Jared, obviously, uh, last time we saw you, you picked up the win, got off, got off the little streak. Uh, how important was that for you to, to kind of put those, the losses behind? I think it was really important, especially mentally, you know what I mean, to put in all the work I put in. It was just icing on the cake that I, I got the submission record, but I definitely needed that. Yeah. I mean, you, you've been around the game for so long, do you, but do you do doubts start to creep in or whatever? Like when you have a couple setbacks like that, or like, oh, where, you know, where do I stand? Do I belong here or anything? Uh, I won't say there's like no doubts. I mean, you know, you got the pre-fight jitters. Anyone who says that goes away, they're lying to your face. Like, I'll tell you right now, I've talked to guys. We had a, a Muay Thai fighter come to our gym before, had like 300 fights. And one of our guys asked him, was like, you nervous for fights? He's like, yes, always. He's like, it never goes away. Never. That's 100% true. But as far as like beforehand, like, you know, I've had my back against the wall so many times in these fights. And like, it's just like, all right, I just got to go fight again. You know, if I do my absolute best, I got nothing to complain about. So it is what it is. That's awesome. So then you're, you're back four months later and they give you this name, this, you know, hot prospect, incredible record, whatever. What, what do you think? I mean, did you know the guy when they gave you his name? Uh, no, I didn't, being honest. Uh, also, though, the reason I didn't know is because they called me when I was literally in the hospital and my son had just been born. So I was kind of preoccupied with stuff at that point. Congrats. But uh, I looked him up, you know, like you said, a hot young prospect, really good record. You know, he looks good. He moves good. It's a great challenge, and I look forward to fighting him. Nice. So you just had a son. Were, were, were you like, don't call me? I mean, did you said, did you want some time off or were you happy that they called and booked a fight? Uh, my knee jerk reaction was like, uh, I, I got to talk to my wife. Like, <laughs> I got to figure this out. And then I kind of did the math. I was like, no, we actually got a good amount of time. Like, this is OK. But, you know, I don't want to turn down fights. But I was kind of focused on one thing at that point. Yeah, no doubt. Is that your first? Yeah, that's, that's the first one. Little boy. Congrats on that. Uh, what's, what's life been like? Obviously, uh, your, your sleep schedule changes, your daily routine changes. Uh, how much different has life been in, in this training camp? Man, I'm so lucky. That kid has slept through the night eight to nine hours out of crack, like, you know, after barely being alive a month. So I can't complain about nothing. I took a little bit of time at first, and I was like, okay, you know, we'll, we'll trade off who wakes up so it's okay. And even then it wasn't bad, but – Man, he just eats and sleeps and smiles. I'm, I'm like the luckiest guy on earth to have like, you know, where I need recovery. I really need sleep to perform my best. He's like, I don't know if he just gets it or what, but I'm all good. That's awesome. So the matchup, once you figure out who the guy is, you go study him a little bit. I mean, at this point in your career, are you a big tape study? I mean, you go really, really break it down or, or not? Oh, yeah. I'm, I don't know if I'm as big as some guys, but I definitely look for tendencies. You know, I want to see how they move, uh, try to figure out the reasons behind they do what they do, if they got any tendencies and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I learned a lot watching his tapes. I watched mostly his UFC fights because those are like, you know, the last couple of years, the most recent. And, uh, you know, really good. Liked what I saw. Uh, I saw some things to capitalize on, but I saw a lot of things where uh, it's just going to take me being a, a little bit more disciplined, a little bit faster, beating him to the spot. And, you know, it, it's an exciting challenge for me. Was there any part of you that was like, why do they keep giving me these prospects? Like, what the, the new hot guy on the block, why, why do I have to fight him? I'm kind of used to that now, so I, like, honestly, I didn't really think about it. And everyone keeps reminding me, like, oh, why do they all, you know, every time I tell them, why do they keep making you fight these? I'm like, I don't know, man, I'm in the UFC. I got to fight whoever they give me. And I, to that point, too, I always hear about these other guys, like, oh, yeah, they gave us a list of names, and I picked him. I have never gotten a list. It's always been like, you're fighting this dude. Deal with it. I'm like. Okay, here we go. I dig it, I dig it. The last thing for me, what, what kind of fight do you think we see here? I mean, uh, are, are you looking to go out and do something special? Is it just get a win and get back home to the family? I mean, what kind of, what kind of fight are we going to see? High pace, high action. Uh, my cardio is through the roof for this fight. This guy always moves and is very active, so it's going to be however long it takes in there. You know, I plan to be six inches in front of his face the whole time throwing leather, and, you know, we'll figure it out whether I, I knock him out or choke him out. But whatever happens, there's going to be a lot of action.